Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. Weekly challenge is here, it's week 35 and we're going to be on board the Aprilia RSV4R from 2010 in Imola for the Variante Bassa. So here we go, today's video I'm going to be trying to help you guys understand and learn how to tackle Imola the Variante Bassa in the best way possible so you can get the gold time here in this weekly challenge. So first and foremost, I was running a electronics of anti-wheelie 1, traction control on 0, and engine brake on 2, if that is helpful to you. So now into the left and right handers of Heriante Villeneuve. Pretty easy to tackle, but I'll give you a better description on the next lap as we go around. But hard on the brakes here for the left hander for Tosa for turn 7. You can either run it a little bit wide there or go for the tighter line. I'm going to run it wider here, and then I'll try it again in a moment's time but now going underneath the showy sign best to break roughly around the sign if you break too late like I'm going to do here it brings you a little bit too wide so you've got to struggle to get the uh, apex of course you pr pretty much completely miss it as you then go on the right hand side break roughly around the 50 meter mark and get on the right hand side again looking a little bit out of shape so this lap is where I was getting back in into ride 4 and getting used to it after playing a bit of GP bikes and MotoGP 21 but always break here at that first shadow you see going into the right hander here for Variante Alta for the right and then left turn for that wonderful chicane now get onto the rumble strip or get away from the rumble strip is a talent to you I like to bring the bike onto the rumble strip there keep an eye out for the bridge here make sure you break just before the bridge and use a little bit of rear brake and a lot of front brake just to slow yourself down for Rivarts for turn 14. Run it wider here to then bring it in nice and tight to the apex for turn 15. And then bring on the power to get underneath the Bridgestone sign. And of course, this being very anti bassa we have the chicane right here. So brake right there before the first sign that you see on the right side of your screen. And therefore you'll be able to slow it down for the very anti bassa and do enough to get into the gold lap times, which needs to be a 156, we're going to tackle it here as a 149.759. So once again, this is going to be our second lap. Make sure you brake well earlier before those green lights above you on the track. Now if you have slick tyres, you can usually do it on the lights, but because we have stock tyres, make sure you brake before the lights. Don't brake at the lights because it's going to be too late. So on the right hand side, you're going to see the rumble strips here. Use the rumble strips as they build on the right hand side as a guide so you can start slowing down for the very anti veal nerve. Don't touch that rumble strip as well because it's very, very treacherous. Now, before that little road on your right hand side, before entering into Toast for turn seven, there is a little bit of a pathway taking you to the barrier on the right hand side just before Toast. So use that as a guide. And now going underneath the showy sign, want to start braking there in a controlled fashion just slowing the motorcycle down for Piratella you're going to nail it absolutely fine don't be braking too late because this course is going to get a little bit out of shape braking roughly about the 50 to 75 meter marker for turn 9 and for turn 10 nice and to the right hand side the flick it to the left hand side for turn 10 and bring on the acceleration keep an eye out here for the first shadow you see that massive shadow that starts building up on the screen start braking there and you cannot go wrong for the very anti alta same again, get onto the rumble strip, bring on the acceleration, bring it in nice and tight to the apex and to the lines here. Don't go on the grass, of course you are going to lose time, and break well and truly earlier before the bridge. Now this instance I went really on the bridge, but I gave it a hell of a lot of brake. I'm pushing the analog stick so far back, I'm holding the rear brake and I'm holding the front brake as much as I possibly can to slow myself down for those super difficult corner for Rivazza. But now onto the left hander here, we're going to be going into the very anti bassa a little bit deep for this occasion, but it's still good. Be careful on the wheelie as well, because of course this bike does really like to wheelie when there's no anti-wheelie applied, so I would suggest using at least one or two. And of course, braking hard now before the green lines, a couple of shadows before it you can use as a guide as you now go into Tamborello for the right-hand side. Left-hand side now going nice and tight to the apex, or maybe running a little bit wide to then go onto the uh, rumble strip on the outside of the track. Keep an eye out for the rumble strip on your right-hand side, as I mentioned on the previous lap. Wait for it to materialise and then bang, start braking at the beginning of the rumble strip. Keep an eye out for that roadway on your right-hand side, that's what you're going to use as a guide. You're going to get a feeling of it the more you do it. The more repetition you do and the more sort of sense of understanding of when to brake, you'll learn particular points such as even this one for example. You see the bridge, you feel like you're going under the bridge, begin to start braking. It doesn't have to be full brake, just enough pressure on the left finger just to slow the motorcycle down. Nothing really abrupt, it's gentle. But here, braking in for roughly around the 75 meter mark for a Q Minerale. I can never pronounce that one right. Unfortunately, I did pronounce it wrong incorrectly, I'm guessing. 
But now underneath the modal side, keep an eye out for the shadow. It's coming up any moment now. Bang, the shadow is there. We'll start braking using a lot of rear brake and a lot of front brake. But pay attention to the bottom right corner of your screen as well, guys. Look how warm that front tyre is. This is a stock tyre and it is extremely warm by just tackling this Imola track. So if you need to keep re restarting the laps and maybe cooling down the tyres by going back to the pits and coming back out, do that because it gets very difficult when the front tyre is that hot. It's very easy to drop the front, so do be very, very careful. Now for the right-hand side. Keep an eye out for your signs on the right-hand side there. You see the 200-meter marker? Start slowing down there if you're not too confident. If you are confident with the brakes, maybe roughly go 150, 175 meters. But at the 200-meter mark, use that as your guide to at least begin to prepare for braking in that such a difficult very anti bassa corner. And of course, guys, as I mentioned, similar and the same braking parts over and over again. I'm on a bit of a run right now. I'm enjoying this particular track and combination of the weekly challenge. So I'm going to go for it once again and hopefully improve upon my 158.451. So on to the left-hand side for the very anti nerve, bringing it into the middle of the track to then chuck it to the right-hand side. There's your pathway on the right-hand side, braking there. So it's not. I'm not telling you guys for the sake of just telling you. This is exactly what I do for these particular races and lap times and time trials. This is what I'll try and pick out and I'll give it to you guys just as I would. So me, I'm just basically demonstrating my own advice to you guys right now. So of course, definitely t try and heed my advice if you can. Of course, you will find some better ways to do it yourself because you'll have different riding styles to me, but use whatever is comfortable for you. I'm just gonna give you a basic guide. So underneath the motor bridge, you know what I'm gonna say. There's a shadow coming up right now. Hit the hard on the front brakes and hit hard on the rear brake as well. Chuck it into the right hand side, now to the left of the altar, and then bring it out nice and calm and nice and controlled. Be very gentle with the acceleration. Of course, if you're having any issues with braking or acceleration, I would definitely check out my other Ride 4 guides. But now onto the left hander for Rivazza for the final time, nice and tight to the apex. He used to have a habit of always touching the inside of the curb there. Don't do it because it is extremely, extremely easy to crash when you touch the inside of the apex. Keep an eye out for your 200 meter marker. Begin to start braking, nice and controlled, in control of the motorcycle at all times. You can't go wrong. Nailing the very anti bassa and now it's full acceleration, but doing gentle, of course, on acceleration, not wheeling, and getting across the line to have a 148 270. So there we go, guys. Those are my four lap times on screen right now in the very anti bassa of Imola. Quite happy with those particular lap times. Wasn't pushing ridiculously hard, but the main point is that you guys have seen what I can do, and you guys can then take away and put it into your game so you guys can get the gold lap time and get yourself some hefty amount of credits. But that's going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know in the comments section down below. Third place in the leaderboards for the time being. Not too bad. Not too shabby. But upon the note, guys, thanks for watching as always. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And hit the notification bell to be alerted to every single Dot Race upload and live stream. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.